Greetings! It's Maxo Diddley. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can download a view only PDF from Google Drive. Let's get right into it. So you've been given access to a PDF file and you're unable to make a copy. You can't download it, you can't print it and you can't email it. Let's get right into how you can make a local copy for yourself. The first step is you want to double click on the PDF file to open it up. The next step is up in the corner here, you're going to see a more actions button. Click on it and then click on open in new tab. Once you've opened it up in a new tab, you're going to want to open up the developer tools. There's two ways to do this. You can either press F12 on your keyboard to open them up. If that doesn't work, you can go up to the more actions button up here. Then you can go to more tools, then go to developer tools. And once you've done that, you may need to do an extra step. So if you've never done any console commands in your Google Chrome, you're going to want to do the following command. It's going to be allow pasting. And once you've typed this, press the enter key. And now you'll be allowed to copy and paste commands into your Chrome console. The next step is, there's going to be a link in the description below. It's going to be to a Google Doc and it's got a bit of JavaScript code. I want you to select everything in the document. So you can either drag to select everything or you can press Control A. Once you've done that, I then want you to right click and click on copy. Then go back to the tab with the view only PDF on Google Drive and then right click in the console and click on paste. Then what I want you to do before you press enter, I want you to slowly scroll through the entire view only PDF. The reason why we're doing this is we want to make sure every page is loaded because essentially this script is going to convert every loaded page of the view only PDF into its own image and then it's going to combine each image of a page into a PDF file. Once you've done that, press the enter key in the console and as you can see, a PDF file has downloaded. The amount of time this takes is going to vary depending on your internet speed, but also how big your PDF is. If it's a giant PDF with loads of images and text, it's going to take longer to download. And once you've downloaded it, click on it to open it up. And I've opened it up. As you can see, it's got the exact same content as the PDF that we couldn't download. And that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.